Song of Solomon 7.10 I am my beloved's, and his desire is toward me. 1 Corinthians 1.26-31 For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called. But God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. God had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty, and base things of the world and things which are despised had God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto wisdom, and to us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification, and redemption, that according as it is written, He that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Isaiah twenty nine thirteen. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near with me, with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. Matthew seven twenty one to twenty three Not every one that said unto me, Lord, Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. John four twenty three twenty four. But the hour cometh, and none is, when the true worshipper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Revelation 19.7 Let us be glad and rejoice, and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife had made herself ready. My Bride, My Pearl Tell my people, little one, that my bride is my heart. He has always been a heart mother, and my bride is captivated by me. Many have been called, but few are chosen. My bride, my pearl, lives for none other than me. She anxiously greets me each morning in complete and utter surrender, and obedience to my will alone for that day. This heart lives and moves and as her being in me alone. The sufferings and sorrows of this heart are deeply etched, and intertwined with my heart, my sufferings, and my pain. We live as one, our hearts beat as one. She knows no other. Her life is worship of me. This dear one no longer descends into the world, seeking to satisfy shallow yearnings and desires with the lies and feigned love of the traitor, her enemy. This one knows me, knows me intimately, therefore knows true abiding perfect love, I will not settle for anything else. This pearl has endured much over time. This heart has bled and died alongside of me. The scars and abrasions of this pearl are what made her who she is in me. We speak spirit to spirit, and she loves with a love that is genuine and pure. It is only through the refining process of being sanded and molded and set apart that she has been transformed from something ordinary to my beloved. She wears my righteousness as her wedding gown. She forsakes all of for my glory and essentially intercedes for the lost. Her desires are my desires. This pearl comes together with other precious gems in my kingdom in union as they honor, serve, and glorify me as one body. It is my love's blood cursing through her veins. My bride has given her all for me and therefore certain privileges are bestowed on her. She will see me in all of my glory before the rest of my church. Her time of waiting has drawn to a close. She is my queen, and she will rise to assist me in my last and great harvest. She will be given much power and authority in me. 
Many are you who profess me as Lord, but your hearts are far from me. Believing on me as your Savior is not enough to qualify you as my bride. Your lives must reflect my heart. You must be a new creation in me. Spiritual pride and idolatry have taken dominion over you. I tell you this, I am coming for an undefiled and pure people. Have you allowed my Holy Spirit to completely blot out every bit of self in you? Is every thought and action measured and tested against my Holy Spirit as your guide? Have you willingly let go of every lure this world has to offer you? What do you continue to allow your eyes to view and your ears to hear? Do you still continue to compromise? I will say to you, your time has not come yet. You have work still to do before we meet face to face. In order that you enter my kingdom for my Father, will send me for his first fruits before his church. My church has a body, has more training to do, and more purifying before she is worthy to come home. She has lost her first love and continues to drink from the cup of iniquity. The door is closing, my children, and then tribulations, as you have never seen, shall come. What say you this day? Do you know in your heart of hearts that you belong to the bride, my pearl, or have you forsaken me and my ultimate sacrifice for you? I died to give you life eternal because of my love for you. The door is indeed closing very, very soon, and then there will be no more, no turning back. Yeshua, the artisan of your heart.